Hello guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you a problem that has appeared when we made the last tutorial and we're going to fix it. So I'm going to hit play and to show you the actual problem I'm going to tap the screen in the button. So if I tap the screen in the button you can see that the tap count increased although we don't want it to increase. We only want it to increase when we actually tap anywhere on the screen but not the button and today we're going to fix this and to do this first I'm going to show you something really simple so I'm going to add two new buttons like so and if I hit play and I move around my, my cursor supposedly if I'm here I'm over both the buttons but as you can see only the top button is highlighted as you can see but and that's basically the concept that we're going to use today like, and that concept is only one UI can be highlighted at a certain moment and with that in mind what we're going to do is to create a panel that's, that covers all of the screen so canvas UI panel and it will cover all of the scene and as you can see this button is, is hidden behind it so to change that all you have to do is to put the panel above it because here in the hierarchy of the canvas the things that are shown before are rendered first so the button should be the last thing to render and the canvas and the panel should be the first one so as you can see now the, the panel is behind everything and I'm going to change its alpha to zero so that we can see it and the way that I'm going to do this is whenever the player presses the panel only then we want to count the fingers on the screen and to do that the first thing that we're going to do is very similar to what we did to what we did with this button in the last tutorial which was to give it a custom event so as you can see and this this custom event is basically what makes a button a button the event not all of this stuff you can you could delete all of this stuff and the button will still work so I'm going into the panel and I'm going to add a component to it which is an event just like we did in the previous tutorial an event trigger add a new type of event and we want it not click because click is when you click and let go and we want it only when you click so I'm going to click okay and now we want to do something and I'm going to put here the banana sprite and now we're going to make a, a function here in the touch stuff script that actually help us with this situation okay so let's make here a public uh, void and we're going to name it check fingers and this function will be called in here will be called in here so Okay, so first, if I I thought that if I copied all of this uh, loop and put it in there, uh, it would work. But but let me show you why it doesn't work. Oops. Okay. So let's select that function. So let's go into the touch stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Check fingers play. And uh, as you can see, all is working fine, but. If I click in the screen with two fingers, you'll see that something weird is happening. If I hit with two fingers, it, the tap count increases by four. And why is that? Because each finger counts as an event. And every and meaning, if I press with two fingers, this happens two, two times, which means that it counts both fingers two times, being four instead of two so that's why this can be like this so instead there is also another simple solution okay so I put that back here in the update function and here what I'm going to do is to change a bool so let's create a bool over here I'm going to name it bool uh, screen pressed and this bool will only be true when the screen is pressed the screen that is not the button so I'm going to check fingers and set the screen pressed bool to be true okay and only when that bool is true 
then we go into this verification of what fingers are and what fingers aren't in the screen so only if the screen is pressed this code will execute so let's put the brackets around the loop like so and of course we want this screen pressed variable to turn false sometime so after each loop we can set it to false again and this way it will work just like we intended it to if I go into unity stop this and now if I hit play and if I press with two fingers you'll see that it counts fine and you can also see that the button works as intended if I click it the tab count doesn't go up and the bananas per second do and that's it for today guys thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial